Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this 12 volt heater and defroster. If you are looking for a quick and easy way to defrost your windshield, either to supplement your vehicle's defrosters or maybe your vehicle's defrosters don't work at all, this would be a good option for you to consider. It can also keep you warm in your one person camping trailer for short periods of time. Now this compact 12 volt heater is gonna quickly defrost and warm your windshield and keep you warm. And I do have a uh, 12 volt uh, power supply here underneath my table. So let me go ahead and plug this in and give you an overview. First have um, this switch for this LED light. And as you can see, it's pretty bright. Let me go ahead and just turn my lights off in the studio here real quick just to give you an idea. This would be good if you were uh, wanting to warm up your windshield at night. You have a little light to uh, help you see what you're doing or just uh, an emergency light in general to help you see around when um, it's uh, not as bright outside or completely dark. So you have the switch here up in front that will turn that off and on. So that's a nice handy feature here. And then you have this three and a quarter inch long swing out handle that is going to allow you to hold on to this to uh, defrost your windshield or uh, just to kind of move this around inside your vehicle or your trailer to uh, circulate some heat. And so that's pretty handy and it has that ratchet um, mechanism in there so that's going to hold it secure and you're not going to have to worry about this uh, flopping around. Then you do have a switch here for heater and fan so first uh, you kick on the fan and you get some air coming out of there but then really the star of the show is the heat so I'm going to move this uh, rock move this rocker switch over to heat. You got a little LED indicator letting you know that uh, it's in operation and so uh, immediately I'm starting to feel some heat coming out of that vent and that's going to be again good at um, keeping you warm, warming up your window. And So I'm just kind of letting it warm up here a little bit. So yeah, I mean it, it feels nice and warm and it warms up quickly. I'm just checking to see if uh, anything else around the unit is getting warm and just running this a short amount of time. It doesn't feel like the unit itself is getting warm, but it's you know, really pushing out some good warm air from the front. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. You do get a 15 amp inline blade fuse. And I talked about this handle, but as you can see here in front of me as well, this also comes with a base so you can just slide this into the bottom. I'm not, I'm not going to put it in all the way, um, but just want to give you an idea. You can mount this on your dashboard and just aim it directly again at your windshield. So hands-free operation and um, you get a 360 degree swivel on this base uh, for dash mounting. Now I do want to mention that it is recommended uh, not to use this for longer than 20 minutes at a time um, because um, it can overheat. So it is recommended after 20 minutes, uh, shut it off for at least five minutes to cool down before turning it on again. And just some um, overall measurements. At the widest point here, we are sitting at seven and one eighth inches. And then at the narrowest point, we're sitting right at about three and five eighths inches. The overall length, we are sitting right at five and a half inches long. And at the thickest point, which I determined is right here, we are sitting at two and a quarter inches. And talking about this base, this base is four and an eighth inches long by two and three eighths inches wide. And then the power cord that we have right here is going to be seven feet long. 
overall, I think this is a, a really great item to have on hand, especially if you need a quick way to defrost your windshield. You can even use this on the outside of your windshield as well. This isn't limited to just inside, but just be aware uh, to not use it more than 20 minutes. Give it time to cool down at least for five minutes before turning it uh, back on again. And uh, I think there's uh, some very handy features included here to make this very easy to use, whether you're just trying to stay warm or um, warm up your windows. Well, that's going to conclude our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.